Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. I wanted to follow up on the video I talked about with respect to supplement reactions and regressions. Sometimes when you add a group of supplements, you may be adding in capsules, you may be adding in chewable tablets, and you may be adding in a liquid suspension, okay, all around the same time. Again, as I've mentioned before, try to avoid adding a group of supplements on the same day. Um, so most of the time it doesn't really matter which you add first, second or third. It's kind of starting at the top of your list and moving down. Uh, and sometimes your physician may give you a specific order, but if you have order things on your own, a lot of times you can just sort of start uh, at the top of what your list may be and, and add things sequentially. But remember, add things slowly. You don't have to rush it. So maybe you do two days or three days in between and keep a running list and some notes on what you're observing. One of the things I have seen though is the different reactions to different types of supplements. If you're adding in a capsule, most capsule supplements don't have artificial flavors and colors in them if you've ordered these things from reputable supplement companies that distribute to the autism community. So usually reaction to a capsulated supplement is pretty non-existent. You might see a reaction to something like a chewable. Some chewables are sweetened and so your child may actually have an adverse reaction to the sweetener that is in that supplement. Hyperactivity or irritability or moodiness may occur. Oral suspensions are usually things that are going to give probably the highest percentage of reactions if they're being sweetened. Okay, If it's artificially sweetened then it's a, certainly a problem. But some of the natural sweeteners can cause kids to react too. A lot of children on the spectrum have what's called phenol sensitivities which phenols are different chemicals found in different foods and they're highly concentrated in things like artificial colors and flavors. So if you see irritability or hyperactivity or increased stemming behavior, etc., after adding in an oral liquid suspension, let's say it's a vitamin, then it may not be the vitamin itself, it could be the reaction to one of the other ingredients like a coloring or a flavoring. So if you're adding in a group of things and you see something shift, after adding in an oral suspension, it's probably the oral suspension that's causing it and it's probably the coloring or be suspicious of the coloring or flavoring in it. So at that point you have to backtrack, take it out, and wait for your child to settle down as far as their behavior goes. And that could take two days, three days, five days, maybe seven days on the outset, but usually within three to five days things have settled down. Okay, so different supplements can give different reactions sometimes. Um, hopefully this kind of gives you a little bit more insight in what to look for. Thanks.